yourself up. You, you've got to you're going to make it. You know your your priority. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, and 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 move on because, <coughs> as you said, you'll end up getting swallowed up by, you know, by the big machine where you want to just get out there, rock, do your bit, you know, and and just make music and go and sweat like like nobody's business every night, you know. It's what you know. Us guys like, you know, we see you on stage. You know, as I said before, the beauty about us is that we, we, we review your stuff, we get to chat to you, and then we see you get out there doing it, and you're like, wow, you know, it's just like, it's just like listening to him on the, on the record because yeah. it's just, you know, it's dead fierce and it's just dead powerful. And that's and it's, one, it's one it's one thing that, you know, our management and, and us are so fucking strict about is making it sound you know, just as good as it does on the record. And it was one, it was it was something that was so great about Candy Rocks when we were there in amongst it, all these different bands. <coughs> and people were just like, the clarity of sound, we can hear everything, we can hear all the words. Yeah. We, we, we spend a lot of time on that. I'm 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 uh, I'm OCD about it. It's got it's got to sound right. I get I turn it a bit of a diva if it doesn't. <laughs> it's got to be right. It's got to be right. So um so yeah. Yeah, we've got a good team that keep, that keep that keep everything everything's still raw, but it's right. Anyway. Yeah, listen, well, but I think that's the thing because if you if you make a record <coughs> and then you go on tour and you sound shit, people will go that that doesn't sound nothing at the record I bought. Do you know what I mean? Right. So you you going out and giving it Yahoo is what people want to hear, and they go fuck these guys are good. They're just they're full of energy. They're full of rawness. That's what I, that's what I want to hear. You know. So for you, it is all about you know perfection because you want you and the other th- the other two the other three guys want to be the best you can. It's practice, practice, practice. And you know. In the end, when you go on stage, and if and if you've done the work in the rehearsal studio, if you've done the proper work, then you can let go. And you you know what I mean. You can let go as a performer. You can fucking go for it. And you know that. You 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 know you're hitting the marks. Yeah, you're hitting those marks, and you're and you're doing that. Then you've got a bit of freedom to you got a bit of fuck you freedom. You know? Yeah, you've given it the best shot, and that's and that's what you want, you know. And people can see that when you go on stage and you're sweating because you're giving it your all, and people go, "That's the sound I want." You know, as I say, it's it's a real it's a real fucking it's a real bumping like you know when you just as soon as you hear it, it's like boom. <laughs> Do you know and thinking, wow, I bet that sounds when you've got speakers around about you, I bet that sounds fucking awesome. You yeah. know, when when you hear it in in, a, in an auditorium or a, or, a, or in King Tuts or in the Barland or whatever happened to be classic grand, you would think, Wow, I bet that sounds amazing, you know, and I think that's what's good about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah I'm, really, I'm really 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 chuffed that you think all that man, really am. It means the world to, to You know, as I say, you know, yeah. I, you could come on here and go, ah, it was all right, it was all right, me man, it was okay, it was all right. But you know, for us, you get engrossed in it and you think, wow, and you just listen to that and listen and listen and think, fuck, I could listen to that all day just because of the the, 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 the raw grittiness that's in it. You could think, wow. And you know, and then obviously, you know, you, you hear your your dulcet glass region tones and you think, well, the boys obviously got something because he's Aberdeen for my sins, actually. Oh, Aberdeen, well, fucking hell. I'm from Aberdeen. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm from Aberdeen, but, um, but I much prefer Glasgow. <laughs> Wait, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've, you've got to, don't worry, I'll, I'll keep that in, don't worry, you've got, you've got to say that. So, what's the what's the plans now? Are you, are you, do you talk to the guys? Do, do you practice constant. with the guys, or do you... Constant, constant. Um, the plan now, we've just worked on a cover... We've just done a cover of a, a, a song that was a number one uh, pop song last year, um, um, but we're, we're we're into the we're into the mix and the edit now, and we're being quite pedantic with it. So, so I'm, I don't have any definite um, release for that, but it'll be within the next month, without shadow of a doubt. Another the next month. That we've got so many freaking songs. That are recorded and ready to go, and there, there's one or two of them that I'm so excited to, to to get feedback on because one of them is actually is a song called Chaos is King, and 
I wrote this song in the desert on MDMA about 10 years ago. Well, no, about <laughs> seven years ago. I was in America uh, and I was, I was uh, shooting a movie called Bruno and Early and Go to Vegas. And it's a pretty cool story. Anyway, the whole shoot, I'm running away. I'm, it's, it's a population of 10 in this town called Gold Point, right? In the middle of the desert. But every town has to have a sheriff. So this town had Sheriff Hank. He was such a lovely guy, such a lovely guy, Sheriff Hank. You know what I mean? You can't get any more <laughs> Sheriff Hank. I've got pictures of him, Evan, I can prove it all. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I said to the production, they said, you know, on your rider, what do you want? And I just said, listen, just get me some weed. If I've got a bit of weed out in the desert, I've got something to just go back home to, have a wee smoke and chill out. Because I've never been in the desert before, so I want something to chill out. So anyway, we got some weed and said, but listen, Sheriff Hank kind of does his weed patrols and that, so, you know, watch out for Sheriff. Oh, yeah, no worries. So anytime he's around, I see him with his torch walking around the town. <laughs> tiny little town. I'll send you some pictures of this. It's it's mad. <laughs> anyway, so but on the last day of shooting, Sheriff Hank, he's like my buddy. He took me out in the desert. There's videos of me on YouTube shooting guns in the desert. It was all Sheriff Hank's. It was all his idea. And um, <clears throat> so on the last day, he goes, so... Well, you know, I just want to scream, my wife, we just want to say thank you so much. We love y'all guys. We just, you know, you like my, our family now. We know y'all like to party. So uh, we got <clears throat> we got a spread in the bar for y'all there. And for all you guys who like to party a bit harder, we got another spread for you too. Anyway, we walk into this back room of this bar, and this man of the law has a table worthy of fear and loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> You've never seen as many. I didn't even know what half the stuff was. Uppers, downers, wizards, bangers, and um, a half horde of ether. Did you, you know try I mean? most of it, or just to try no, some no, of it? No, no, no. I just, I just, well, I just went for a bit of the molly, and, yeah. and then I got on a quad bike. I got on a quad bike. <laughs> and I said to him, "It's like, honestly, I just need to get out into the desert for a bit." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I had the whole casting, the whole, whole casting crew. As I'm on this quad bike, they're going, "No, no, Ross, no." bad move and I'm like no I've got to do it and I was like promise it I'm not back in 20 minutes wait another 20 <laughs> you know so anyway a pilot into the desert like this just coming straight and looking up with nothing ahead of me and anyway I get out there and I start these I start writing these lyrics looking at this unbelievable sky and the lyrics were Billions of blasting blue diamond apocalyptic fireworks cascading down the star-filled canopy that unifies the humans and the centipedes a thousand legs below the sea. They've never heard of sunlight before. And they just came out and I was like, oh man, the song, the song. And I just kept writing it, writing it, writing it. And then I got back to Britain and I started writing it. And I was like, I was kind of sitting there going, what the fuck is this? This is, it was, it was a big brain fart, but it really made sense to me. And the essence of the, of the track is that as much as man tries to, you know, be the master and control everything, at the end of the day, you're never going to control chaos. Chaos is king. And if you accept that, and if you realize that you have to work with chaos, i.e. nature, i.e. you know, the chaotic nature of, of people, and you, and you don't try and control that, then maybe we can win. Maybe we can come out on top. So um, I, you can hear this, you can hear the original incarnation of this song on my website, rosswillywild.com. And it was kind of written as a, I wanted an orchestra. I kind of wanted all that. And anyway, Jan Luca took this track and just, I mean, he made it the song I always wanted it to be. Um, I'd, lo I'd love to, I'd love to send you it just for a, so you can have a listen. Um, if I get the permission from, from, from the guys, I'd love to send you just just so you can have a listen. Um, but uh, but I'm, it's it's one track that I'm so excited about getting out there because it's mad different. It's got a killer riff that has nothing to do with me. Killer riff on it. And just the way that Jan Luca just turned around and just changed the, the structure, not really struck, yeah, a little bit of the structure and just made it a bit poppier because mine was a very prog tune. I'm mad at my prog. So I'll always try and yeah. put in a coda. <laughs> can we have a coda too? A coda too. I know it's weird, but it might work, you know. Can we make that 38? You know, I love 
you know, I love doing it. And then I've got Jan Lupin. No, it's a good idea. Okay. Well, you know, and then, you know, in this, in this Italian way. So I thought, okay, yeah. well, like, let's, you know, let's just take, and I, I need that. I need collaboration. I need somebody to turn around to me and go, all right, can, can the beans for a sec? Let's have a look at it, Ross. Calm down. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and that's what I've got in them. So, um, so yeah, super excited to get those tracks out. I can't wait to see what people think. Um, and, and we've got Duff. We've got Duff now. And um, Duff's the man. Uh, Duff, you know, Duff Press. Yeah. 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 Valeria, she's a, she's a very, very, she, she's a cool person, Valeria. She's got, you know, she, she, she gives us a lot of stuff and she, you know, and she knows that we will champion, you know, you guys, that when you put stuff out, you know, we'll act on it. You know, yeah, we have, we, uh, just to give you an idea of us, uh, Ross, we get 60 to 80,000 hits a month from, from you know, from various corners of the globe. Yeah. Uh, we have YouTube, we have Instagram, we have Twitter, we have, uh, we have our own YouTube channel, Jace Media, uh, oh. you know, and we stick it out there. And normally, I think what we do is we put, what we did for your single is we put we put four singles together mm-hmm. of four different genres, and it's had a thousand. The four singles have had a thousand hits already. Amazing. And I think your your single, for what I can get, I was talking to my boss this morning, and he says it's just crazy mental. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. He said it's crazy mental because people just fucking love it, you know. And 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 that's and you know and that's really good because. What I said, he said, well, that's really good because you've you've captured the essence. And I said, yeah, but you've got to remember, the guys are sweating their nuts off in the studio putting this track down. You've got me with a good set of lugs on me just listening to it going, yeah, I think that's fucking awesome because it's got this, it's got this. But you know what? The boys are sweating their nuts off. They've put it out there. I've helped in the process to get the guys, you know, and we, we send it to Australia, we send it to America, we send it to Canada. Because we have got outlets out there as well, so people will get it, you know. So okay. when 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 you do get your your new stuff, you know, please do send it to me because I'm only too happy, Ross, to 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 to, to, to get it out there for you, you know. Because as I said, yeah. it's just it's just it's my kind of rock, you know. It's kind of it's gritty, it's rocky, it's just a thumping bass. Did you, did you hear uh, where the pain lives? No, I've only I've only had the I've only had the one slap bang. That's all I've had. Because oh, really? what 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 the what the press what Valeria will do, and obviously they'll just say they'll, they'll release it a bit at a time. So maybe like you said, in a month's time, we may get two singles because they'll go. I've got this one that maybe Ross has just finished and swapped on, and I've got another one they're releasing. So that's kind of how we work. So you're, teaching, you're teaching me a bit. So I don't I don't know all these things. So that's good. Yeah, that's, and that's kind of what happens to us, uh, Ross. So we get we'll get this single. And it's obviously out on YouTube at the moment, and we'll put it out there, and we'll and we'll share the shit out of it. And as I say, thousands of people will see it, um, and then it gets fed back to Valeria, and she will find it's amazing. They've got another track coming out. They've just finished working on it. She fancy looking at this, and then eventually, when you guys put the album down, we hit the album, you know, and I and I give it what I do with my stuff is I give it a track by track. Some people will go, or will do like. You know, like a couple of bars of each song. I do a track by track for everything. Yeah. People go, "Well, this guy spent an hour and twenty five minutes listening to every fucking bar on that." Yeah. Album. That's what he's you want, You know, I do a big bio about you as well because I, I don't know if you have, you have you seen my did you see my release for your single? I haven't yet. Mate. Right. I let, haven't, me, uh, let let me let me talk you through it, Ross. Come on. Right, and then you can tell me if I'm talking shite or not. I right. you will be. So, slap bang. Pounding drums with a heavy emphasis on bass drum kicks are front and centre as the power source going forward to steer this monstrous beast of a track. The grungy gritty guitar riffs that are flowing freely from the six-stringed axemen are fantastic as their direction and a dirty vibe that gives it that edgy feel. Bass chords are flying in your face with a real venomous pluck that you instantly take note of the power grooves that are pouring from this four-stringed beast that has you transfixed on the pounding vibes of blasting from us. Vocals are bellowing out like a powering tornado with a real cool deep tone 
that has a gravelly rock tinge vibe that comes over with a swagger that you can hear with the change ups and the range changes that instantly fit this thundering power rock outfit with ease. This is a killer track with lots of surprises, with thumping percussion, thundering bass grooves, electrifying guitar riffs, and a storming vocal with real attitude. I'm in heaven. You there you go. Me. Me. I love I love your words. Wow. There you go, mate. So I, I sit and I just Whoa. immerse myself in it. And then because what I want to do is I want to give you guys the best chance. Well, I, of... I've never I've never heard a, a more I'm, I mean I'm speechless, mate. Thank you so much. That, that's what a write up. Wow. I'll send I'll send that I'll send that to you. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. All right, I'll send that to you. Yeah. As I say, it's just I'm sharing that. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you because obviously I, it's just you know because he, 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 I put I put the cans on and I go right let's get into this beast turn it up and it's like boom 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 and I go right and I start writing and I go no 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 push, yeah, yeah. put it back to the start and I guess it's, I'm it's and something it. that I'd love to advocate is 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 for people to do a lot more of what you and you and I we tend to do and that is stick on your music and just listen. Because there's a lot, a lot of the time when I turn around, people say, "What do you do when you're listening to music?" Oh, I do when I'm driving or at, at the gym or that. And you never hear someone just go. Sometimes I just sit and listen to music. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's you because back in the day when we got our CDs or your LPs and you got it, the artwork and you put it on, it's like a more sacred sort of thing. You know what I mean? The Absolutely. ritual of it all. I used to sit back and look at my, my artwork and read lyrics and, and just sit and listen to it. And with this sort of fast fast food style, um, you know, approach with iTunes and all that, which is great, amazing, fantastic. There's there's, so, there's a million positives about it all. But I'd, I'd love to advocate sort of just, you know, sit down and just listen. You'll, you'll find something different. You'll find something that you never found before. Yeah. Sit down and listen to an album from start to finish. I know it's controversial. <laughs> but hey, it works. Yeah, it works. So what I just say, what I do with you guys or you know, whatever, I sit with a glass of wine and I just bang it up and I go, all right, let's get into this beast. Because you know straight away when you listen to the you you know, the bio that the press company puts out, you think, yeah, this is just gonna be like a dirty groover. Yeah. Headphones in, glass of red. And I just listen to it, and I listen to it again, and I go, right, I'm ready to go. And you just put the video on, and you just get immersed in it, and you think, wow, it's got this, it's got change-ups, it's got groove, it's got dirty feeling, it's got lots I of really, I really fucked up in the video at one point. <laughs> Wait, we had, which, which part? We had two days of filming. It was terrible. It's, you know, it's terrible. But we had two days of filming. On the first day of filming, I'd done an all-nighter with, with the people that were in my bed. I mean, that wasn't... That was a stage scene, wasn't it? <laughs> I'd done an all-nighter with a folk in my bed, and we were, I was just, I mean, you can see it in my face. I'm I'm, nay, I'm, I'm pretty bleak. <laughs> and, and uh, but yeah, we did about three hours, and I just crashed out, and I just couldn't, I couldn't even move. So the poor guys, we were supposed to do a whole day of filming in, in London, so they went in and they filmed the girl because I was supposed to do some stuff with the posh lady, you know. But it kind of worked out that we had our own, <laughs> our own journeys. Listen, as long as you did something with somebody, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but at least we got the stuff on the stage with the crowd and everything, so that was cool. Yeah, it's, but, you know, as I say, I'll, I'll send you this stuff because normally what we say to the your PR company is send it to the guys because you'll normally share it on the page. So maybe... Absolutely. Maybe V's not done that, but I'll send that to you. I'll uh, yeah. I'll send it to your email email address, Thanks, and, and then you can get that, and then you can share the shit out of it, and then you can sit and mm-hmm. say, "Fucking crazy, mad Glasgow guy is writing some yeah. crazy stuff, man." But you know, it's just I think it, for for us, it's it's how you feel. You know, it's how you feel about the song. It's how you feel about what you know the, when you look at the video and you kind of you, you can immerse yourself in what they've done and how the video takes shape and you go, yeah, I can see that change up. I can see that riff. I can see that chord. I, you know, I can get where he's coming from. You know, the, the video is a bit bonkers, but I think 
from that point of view, the video, you know, you're sitting eating a fucking Weetabix, you're getting milk, milk poured into your mouth, you think, yeah, that's probably happens in Glasgow, because people will think, ah, that's probably every day it comes, you know? But, do you know what <laughs> I mean? Eat your so, breakfast, Alan. Eat your fucking <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> you don't need a plate. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a it's it's a cool it's a cool video. It is. It's quite a cool. It's you know it's got that. It's just got like four guys on stage not giving a shit, you know, and yeah. grinding yeah. out the good old rock, you know, which is good. So what's yeah. the, the plan now? What's what's a are you guys are you guys still in lockdown? Are you, are you in the studio? Or are you out the studio? Um, so you... we we've um uh, I yeah I I I should I should have been on tour. Playing Elvis Presley in Million Dollar Quartet for the past six months, but uh, I, I, we did a little world tour. I was in India when this all kicked off, and then I got home, did two venues, and then I got effectively laid off. You know, um, so it's been hard. But um, the boys, the boys, and I bought a mic and bought. You know, I mean, we've got. Well, I bought you know one of these fuckers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bought that. And uh, I've got a little, a little mic. I've got a little mic um, that I can plug into my iPhone. I'm not very technical. I've studied music and I studied music tech, um, but I'm not. I'm not very good at music tech. It freaks me out a bit. I've got, I've got a rough idea, but oh, yeah, I leave it to the. I leave it to the boys who that's their. That's their thing. You know what I mean? I kind of try and be good at everything, like in music. So <laughs> I, just, I, I love. I love my. I love my keys. I love my guitars. I play, I play a lot of instruments, but I'm just when it comes to the tech, yeah. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm nice. the same. Boss. I'm like, yeah. you want me to drag and drop? What are you talking about? I'm like, fucking calm down, mate. You know. I, know. <laughs> I guess it's, just... it's a different thing in Glasgow. Drag and drop. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it means something totally different. Totally. Well, we're we'll not get into that. Mm-hmm. So, when are you hoping to get? I mean, I guess it's probably going to be next year for touring yeah for touring it'll be next year but we're, we're playing uh, with hands off gretel um we've got two gigs with hands off gretel um this year and we'll have a we'll have a big showcase gig in in december um again we're, we're having to change venues to make it uh, more capacity so we're not 100 percent sure when yet but it'll be free it'll be a free gig it'll be yeah. calm down bring you know Bring your mates and um, come and party for free, man. Like post lockdown. You know, I think the, the, the G, what some one of the Jace boys will be there. It probably not be me because uh, I'll need to travel to Glasgow and you know and totally, man. You know, uh, but once you get on the road and you come to Glasgow, look me up. Absolutely, and we'll get on it. It's it, it's a it's a definite. It's a definite. We'll get, we'll get on it. It's a definite. And see what's happening. But what about the album? When is uh, when do you think you're going to have that sewn up? I don't know, mate. Um, I'm not sure, but like we're 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 in talks now. We're right. talking right now about because you know we, we want to use this um, media storm, you know, to 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 put, to put the info out there as well. So very very we get it. Cool. Excellent. Well, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. You too, man. Really, sharing, really. Sharing, a bit, sharing a bit of the banter and fucking Absolutely. talking shite. You can't beat it. Um, I'll, uh, I'll put this to my boss. The video will go to my boss this afternoon. It'll probably be on tomorrow. Tomorrow, oh, tomorrow afternoon. I'll uh, I'll drop you a line and let you know that it's on. I'll, uh, I'll send you this. I'll send you my music sheet of, uh, of my of my musical experience for Mercurio and you can tell yeah but listen I'm from Glasgow we just call it fucking whatever it is it's Mercurio you'll you'll just go listen this crazy fucker from Glasgow wrote this about the song that's all you need to know that's all you need (laughs) lovely to meet you Darren yeah Ross it's a pleasure this is Darren from Jace Media we're in conversation with Mr Ross William Wilde from Mercutio. Uh, we're going to speak to him again soon at some point. We're going to share some new music. And stay safe, buddy, and uh, take it easy, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot, brother. Cheers, fella. See you later. Bye.